Welcome to the podcast, Mercy. It's an absolute honor having you with us today. Thank you so much, Harshita, for having me here in this show. All right. Then, without uh, any further delay, let us step into our conversation. So, Mercy, would you like to share your USTM journey, your successful journey here in USTM? Thank you so much uh, for the question. So, uh, first of all, I would like to share this very sweet connection that I've got with USTM. Mm. So, I've started my journey right from 2020 as a okay. BSc student. Okay. And then again, I have taken admission from a mm. master's course mm -hmm. that is in the year 2023. Mm. And then, uh, what I have found out in all these five years is that this university have really helped me mm. in transforming my personality as a whole. Right. And on top of that, this university has got the best environment to study mm -hmm. and uh, along with the cur curricular activities mm -hmm. such as uh, be it outreach programs mm -hmm. or the interactive sessions mm -hmm. where knowledges have been learned mm -hmm. and the skills have been gained. Mm -hmm. So and additionally uh, I would also like to talk about the uh, central library. Mm -hmm. Now this uh, library allows the students to get access to as many books as mm -hmm. like available out mm -hmm. there. And in the same way, I've got mm. access to many books mm. uh, for my competitive exam. Okay. So, uh, and most importantly, I would also like to talk about uh, the teachers, my teachers. Okay. Uh, they are extremely supportive and they are extremely uh, encouraging. And um, they're always present in their respective cabins. Mm. And uh, because of which I have been able to approach them right. and have been able to um, clear my doubts whenever okay. needed. Mm. Okay, uh, then Marcy, your journey was really very beautiful, right? So I would like to ask you one more thing. So how did you prepare for, as we have come to know that you have completed, you have, cl you have cleared your CSIR UGC net, right? So how did you prepare for this exam uh, while balancing your uh, MSc course? So how was it? Preparation, balancing both, was it, was it tough for you or you balanced it in a very, um, very easy way? What would you like to say? Uh, my preparation was very much similar with the other net aspirants. Okay. So what I have actually done is mm -hmm. I have gone through those previous year question papers mm -hmm. and I've looked uh, for the uh, question pattern and okay. have checked for the difficulty level. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about the resources, then I've gone through various uh, famous resources. Mm -hmm. But one such resource mm -hmm. that I have been consistent with mm -hmm. is the uh, Arihan's CSR Net Life Sciences book. Okay. And uh, talking about uh, the timetable, then since I'm a morning person, mm -hmm. so I like my timetable, it will be right from 5 to 7.30. Mm -hmm. And then it would start again in the evening hours mm -hmm. from 6 and it may extend as much as okay. So here in VUSTM, we have a uh, free coaching for NET. Right. So uh, did you avail this coaching? Yes, like uh, now actually this is the reason that I have been able to okay. balance my mm -hmm. um, masters along with the uh, exam preparation. Mm -hmm. So uh, this uh, university, it mm -hmm. offers uh, this great opportunity for the students right. to, uh, to have this free net classes, mm -hmm. which is absolutely free of cost and uh, is being attended, like it, it's being conducted both in the online and offline mm -hmm. mode. Okay. So, and I'm really thankful for the teachers as mm -hmm. well. For they have uh, uh, prepared those PDFs in such a simplified way mm -hmm. and because of which I've been able to grab the concepts very easily. Okay. Okay, thank you for thank you for such a delightful answer, Marcy. I was really very motivated, and uh, by hearing your story, your journey, our other students from University will be really very uh, motivated. Thank you. So in today's world, Marcy, the competition is very intense. So I'd like to know how did you stay motivated, especially when the dates of the examination were announced. Yes, the competition is truly intense, uh, especially in the field of life sciences. And uh, the only reason that I've been uh, stayed motivated all throughout those exam preparation is because of the support and the environment that my parents they have uh, given me, and obviously uh, my friends and uh, teachers. And uh, most importantly, it's the discussion round and then uh, those regular assessments that I have mm, like I have given. So because of all those reasons, I have gained confidence. Mm. And uh, on top of that, uh, I would also like to say uh, that uh, I have uh, um, done these uh, MCQ questions, which I have received uh, through notifications in, uh, in my phone since I have subscribed to those uh, online educators. Mm. 
there are many online educators out there so that have really uh, helped me in uh, um, doing those mcqs which are which have really helped me in gaining confidence for my exam day thank you so much mercy for such a great answer uh, i'm sure it must have helped a lot of students in gaining some confidence as their exam dates are also announced so now we would like to move towards the second segment of this podcast which is the very fun rapid fire round we'll toss around some questions for you and you just have to answer it as rapidly as you can okay so the first question would be if you had to describe your jrf journey in one word what would that be transformative that's brilliant second question is are you a morning person or are you a night owl when it comes to your studying preparations i'm more of a morning person you wake up early and you like to sleep early yes okay okay so the third question will be if you had to tell someone or advise someone what would be the toughest subject in zoology to crack um, for me this week is biochemistry biochemistry okay so moving on the fourth question is who is that one usdm faculty member who has transformed you into a better student or has inspired you the most that's the toughest question since all the teachers they have uh, inspired me and have contributed uh, equally to my exam preparation so yeah i would say all the teachers so the last question in this rapid fire round is what is your go to snack when it comes to taking a break in between study um, i have uh, snack upon the fruit nuts and then sometimes chocolates okay thank you so much mercy uh, it was a very delightful round with you thank you So Marcy, we have come to the end of this session, and before ending, I would like to ask you if you would like to give any suggestion to the students, especially for the students who are aspiring for UGC NET or any other competitive exams. So uh, before I uh, give an advice uh, to my juniors okay. or any new aspirants, hmm. I would firstly like to thank uh, Dr. Alika Purpukan, ma'am, okay. with the HOD of uh, Zoology Department. Okay. for giving me this opportunity to be here and to be able to share my experiences mm-hmm. with the viewers mm-hmm. so um so b- before that i would also like to say that uh, this uh, university mm-hmm. has uh, got this offer mm-hmm. which is in terms of scholarships mm-hmm. that are being offered to the uh, meritorious students mm-hmm. so i would strongly recommend the students mm-hmm. to avail to this opportunities okay. if possible right and uh, lastly mm-hmm. the advice that i would like to give to my juniors is uh, to trust in yourself and mm. to never uh, underestimate your potential mm. and to trust in your progress mm. okay thank you merciful it was really a very delightful conversation with you and we hope our viewers especially the uh, students who are aspiring for UGC NET or other competitive exams related to their academic uh, academy they will be really very benefited by hearing all your important facts important knowledge and the insightful uh, things you have this it will be really very helpful for them once again thank you so much and we were really very uh, pleased to have you here you uh, we you could join us here today you have showed a lot of uh you focus a lot of things about evestian your journey your department and your uh the successful part right so thank you so much once again you have-